every military pilot started as a wingman. The basic unit of air operation is a couple of aircraft, a section with a leader and a wingman. The training and career progression of a fighter pilot often goes through the stages of being a wingman, a two-ship leader, and then a four-ship leader, where the four-ship formation is composed by two two-ship sections. Why do aircraft are called ships? Uh, that's because um, I'll, I'll tell you later, okay? There have been examples in history of different organizations, but after World War II, these two or four aircraft structures are widely used everywhere in the world. These two unit cells are the elementary particle of air operations planning. Planners and ground services think in terms of generation of two ship sorties to assemble operations that require eventually dozens of different aircraft operating in coordination. And by the way, this is typical for fighter aircraft, bomba or sport aircraft may operate differently. Well, the rationale behind this formation is rather simple. The leader executes the mission and the wingman protects the leader. This obviously doesn't mean that the wingman never executes anything. This doesn't mean that the firepower is halved in this way. Both aircraft cooperate under the leader direction who takes the key decision and controls the wingman. The wingman is generally not allowed to take autonomous decisions and a good part of its attention goes to the conflicting with the leader, as since they both tend to fly in visual range of each other to yeah, simplify the coordination. Fifth generation air warfare is changing all of this. 